Well, congratulations on your purchase of this fine gaming table. In this video, I'm going to give you the brief version of how to put it together. A couple key points. First, things are not interchangeable. I designed it that way. So, this panel won't go over there. Okay, the holes are different, the dowels are different. So, please check the markings. Everything should be marked. Um, if not, try another piece and maybe by process of elimination, you'll figure out which one goes where. But things should work out. I, um, I tried to put everything as clearly as possible in this video. But the bottom line is, of course, if there's something that's not clear, don't hesitate to reach out and ask. So let's get started. Now the frames and legs are labeled on a two axis system, front, back, left, right. So you can see the orientation here for the center and corner legs. The legs are marked. You can see a corner leg here, front left, and the face uh, of each is also marked. I tried to mark it on the inside of the frame, uh, but I did stain over it a couple places. And here you can see the bolts. They're all different sizes. Uh, one's a different thickness, so it should be straightforward. Now to put the corner legs on, um, so you've got them correctly oriented and the non-stained faces go against the frame. You take the bolts, the longer bolts, put one washer in, it goes into the countersunk part, and you should be able to thread them through with a little bit of jiggling or some light taps. Once you've done that, I suggest that you put the next washer and then just hand tighten all four nuts. Okay, just get them all nice and snug before you reach for the tools. Once you start the tool process, don't fully tighten one and then go to the others. Kind of snug one, then do another, switch back and forth so that you're tightening them all up fully and you don't have to super have them super tight. You want to get this off after. Once you've got the corner leg on, you put the bolt cover on. Now these are also labeled and one of them is shorter than the other. Uh, put that one on first. Make sure you've got it on the correct face. The grain usually marks up and then it's two Phillips screws and that's done. After you flip both frames over, position them so that they're in the position on the floor where you want them, okay? Um, then you can bolt them together. These are the five thicker bolts. Now, make sure you get the, the frames positioned before you bolt it up because you don't want to move it once they're bolted together. That voids the warranty. So next are the panels and here's how they're labeled and organized. We're going to start with the back center. It's the easy one to find. It's got these cleats um, just to try to keep it straight and the other pieces aligned. So it might require a little bit of kind of light taps to get it seated. And underneath, um, you can put some of the cleats in. There's some screws through the cleats into the frame. Once you've got that on the outer edge, there's uh, just a couple screw holes. These should go really easily by hand. And that's the same for all the panels once they're installed. Next, <coughs> you put a couple dowels in and you put the front center. And these panels should all be labeled on the back or on the sides. You just line up the dowel holes and push it and then put the screws into it. Next, we move on to the left side panel, uh, left front and left back. This is really a two person operation. So contact someone who is interested and willing to gladly help you. What you do next is you put the dowels in the center, push them together to each other and then together, it's a little hard, um, push those panels towards the center. That secures them. You have to do one edge before the other. And as always, put the screws into the outer edge, but don't use a drill. Then you get to the left and the right panels in the same way. So now we're ready to put the rails on. You have to do the front and the back rails. Um, you can do either one first. You lay it down with the wing edge, the kind of that L shape, against the panel and slide it forward. That should guide the panel into the right position. You can then secure these rails um, with 
a the wing nut and bolt, the two inch bolt. That goes in the corner where the wing, and then just a simple knob on the other end. Once you've got all four front back ones, you can move on to the left and right sides. Now these ones, um, the, the edge overlaps, right? It nests right into the front and back ones. Once that's in position, you have two bolts to secure it. The last thing is the DM table. You see it's got cleats underneath. Uh, don't forget to take out the dowels. You have to take out two rails, the front right and the right front. It only goes on the front right corner. There's no holes anywhere else for this. Once you've got the cleats in position, you push it forward, the holes will line up and it's three two inch bolts with wing nuts. All right, well, I think that's it. Um, I might have missed a couple other uh, small things, but that's really the gist of it. And certainly, as always, if there's a question, don't hesitate to ask. And I hope you get many satisfying hours of gaming out of the 